a gigantic undertaking. Alice would share the findings of your scouting mission with everyone. なるほどな。地上からの道は Call your friend. Call your friend. I can go back. Ma, Nanda Katahin so dava. Oyamanga Jimen, you mod up the Kudereba in on in eh? We could pull it down. Jamascha Dametaro. What does the Java? So cook your cados as a kinney not picked a bag in a big punch. Mojubun Tano Stashi, sort of so stunning. ご夫人の意見。ありかもしれないわ。いや、いくっぽれダウン。当然だけど、山が戻ってくれることはないでしょう。でも、山と地上を再度つなげることなら可能じゃないかしら。That's not what I Okay, okay, yeah, pull it down. It's time to make a new one. Well, Time to start working on it. There, he's starting to get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's start with the scouting mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah.作業にあたって多くの人手が必要になる。下で手伝っていた連中を呼んできたとしても、途方もない時間がかかるぞ。うん。問題は人手だけなんだ。どんな人が必要か言ってみなさいよ。いや、that's a very simple Actually, that that's you always find people. We'll get you the help. Yeah. そっちがアンバーヒルを回ってくれるなら私はモルドスークに行くわきっと力を貸してもらえると思うやっぱりマイナーズが助けてあげるよ私はモルドスークに行くわきっと力を貸してもらえると思ううんやっぱりマイナー
Yeah, they'll make things fun, you know. Just gonna be flying around. Oh yeah, those two. Yeah, yeah. あまるやチョコボも自由に活用してくれ。待て待て待て。ユールモアやクリスタリウムの民だけじゃなく、夜の民にモルドソク、あの採掘士たちもだって。え、you <笑> Questions, questions. No, no, no. Don't worry about that one. We are the saviors of the world, adventurers of no import. The artist Alfano and his assistants. <laughs> the artist Alfano and his assistants. Oh, me. あなた、忘れちゃったの最初にご挨拶していただいたじゃないわ、おり、we Come on. Man. <laughs> we'll bring the whole world with us. Yeah, that's what we need. Go, go. Now I need to talk to the Crystal Exarch and know who this guy is. I have doubts. そうなると私たちは設計の補佐ということになりそうだな。Yay, you get to work. He's like, oh my god, what do I get myself into? Have the design ready, she says. In good time, she says. Does she even understand what's involved? Took time. Yeah, don't be meowing like that. What? A village of Yelmoran exiles? Something is off with this. But those people have very have every reason to load a free citizen like me. They couldn't possibly be willing to cooperate. This will never work. Never. I should. I never should have fixed that ruddy lift. Never should have ridden it up here. Never should have. Never should have. Uh... No. Oh, dar oh dear. Darling appears to have lost the plot. But he has it in him, Livy. He's the cleverest man I know. He just wants for confidence sometimes. If you were to give him some words of encouragement, I'm sure he can give you or tell us. A bit of advice. I learned this. I learned from his mother. He responds poorly to obvious praise. You'll need to find another way to stoke the fires of his motivation. Awaken his sense of daring. Alright. Uh, choose words that will best encourage China's. In order to succeed, you must lift his spirit sufficiently during the conversation. Oh, I like mini games like this. Meh. So. Bring it, bring it. Hm. China's is plagued with self doubt. I can't do it. No one can. A talos of that size? No one's even dreamed of it. Alphano once struggled to collect firewood. Dulia is counting on you as well. You're a genius, you can do this. No, definitely not this one. Alphano once struggled to collect firewood. He did, but he's such a capable lad, brimming with confidence. Hmm. I suppose even the most capable among us have struggles to overcome. China still harbors some misgivings. But regardless of my own feelings, I can do a damn thing without help from those villagers, and they're not Bali likely to give it. Tristel's among them. You said so yourself. Lest you've forgotten, we've essentially sent him to his death. Even if the others don't bear a personal grudge, he would never forgive us. You don't know until you apologize. He'll come with you. Don't worry, he'll forgive you for sure. Things won't improve by themselves. You have to take the first step. 
I know, I know. Unless we take the first step, there can never be reconciliation. There's a chance for everyone to come together, even if they hurled stones at me. Perhaps it's worth trying to apologize. China still hover harbors some misgivings. But what then, in the end? It's not even a question of forgiveness. Building such an enormous talus is impossible, and no amount of contrition will change that. And even if by some miracle the people of Amity were willing to let bygones be bygones, they'd think that plan is absurd. I think it's absurd. It's less absurd than the change that's come to Ilmor. We liberated the castle with a strategy that would be that would call absurd, many would call. Everything you touch turns to gold. No one would doubt your plan. Well, come on. <clears throat> well, I can't argue with that logic. Enormous as the task is, it's simply a matter of finding a solution to a practical problem. From that perspective, it's not entirely unrealistic. Feeling somewhat optimistic, okay. But realistic or no, there's no guarantee of success. There are risks to consider should the venture fail. Oh, I'm good at this one. I imagine for a moment that we fail to reach Votri and only succeeded in provoking him. In his fury, he may well unleash his hordes of eaters and will meet a horrible end. I'll protect you. I'll protect everyone. We could build Talos for battle. Then we'll go together. Mm. We could build Talos for battle. I've thought of that, I assure you, but I'm afraid Talos cannot contend with Sin Eaters. If they could, I would never have come to Yulmore. Ah, so you did try. Okay. Nonetheless, I appreciate your earnest attempt to find a solution. Hmm. Makes me wonder, was it, what is it that drives you? Tell me, why did you throw yourself into the midst of such a grueling struggle? To protect those I love, because I live for adventure, I got roped into it, because I live for adventure. Adventure? Such a strange word coming from my lips. I used to have a sense of adventure too. Strove to challenge myself. Whenever did I lose it? Burning good motivation already. Yes, 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 yes. No. Alright, he's going for adventure. I like that. I like the... Yes, yes, by the gods, I can do this. I just need to have a little faith in myself. Bravo. Right, let's head to Amity and speak with the villagers, with Tristel. My, th my love, things are liable to become more dangerous. I want you to wait for me back in Yulmore. No. No, wherever you go, I'm going too. Besides, you're not the only one who has to apologize. But there's no telling what may happen out here. I don't know if I can keep you safe. Perhaps this is a bad idea after all. I, I don't think I have what it takes. Man, all the hard work. Master Chai, that you are beset with doubt is proof that you can envision the task ahead. Oh, 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 logic comes in. And that which man can envision, he can make reality. Thus did some old friends of mine once say. Even though it should be a feat fit for the divine, if something has been done before, then it most assuredly can be done again by your own hands. That's a little idealistic, don't you think? Hey, you made him laugh. Perhaps, Master Chai, perhaps. But what is man if not an idealistic creature? It is not easy thing. It is not an easy thing to achieve one's dreams. My friends can attest to that. Countless times did they meet with frustration in the course of their endeavors. None would have found fault with them had they given up, yet they never did. One step after the next, they forged on towards their goal. And for their determination, they accomplished numerous feats that many believed lay beyond the reach of mankind. Like them, you are a man of science. Amongst your doubt, amidst your doubts, surely there is a spark of desire. The desire to make the impossible possible. Oh. If that doesn't work, nothing will, man. Come, darling. Like the old days, I would be the first to see your talos. And you shall be, my dear. I would have none other at my side when my greatest masterpiece awakens. Right then, to Amity. Yeah. Yeah, if someone had told me that, I'd be like, let's do this. I don't even need to be told that, man. Come on. I'm glad my words struck a chord. Shall we? No, you did good, you did good. 
but he said his friends of the past. He might be in the scene. He really might be in the scene because he's got the stuff that looks like that. And um, Emmett Selk did say that there were three. He's one. Lahabre is one. Where's the third one? Igorim, maybe, but could be him. Uh, we'll never know for sure, like this. Anyways, <clears throat> we're probably gonna know who. <clears throat> Probably gonna know who the Crystal Exarch is by the end of the expansion, so it won't be like soon. Because we would have asked earlier, anyways. Something's gonna lead us to ask. You! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I apologize. You have every right to be angry with us, but please listen to what I have to say. I'm tasked with delivering these people to Mount Gulg by means of a Talos of here to. Uh, of a heretofore unseen proportions. However, I cannot do this without the cooperation of those with intimate knowledge of this land, that is, you and your fellow villagers. Cooperation? After you ignored my desperate pleas and cast me out, you have the gall to come here and ask for my cooperation? You're every right to be upset. Valtry is not the one to blame for your suffering. We are. We were free citizens without a care in the world. Indifferent to the hardship of others, we didn't know what would become of you, and frankly, we didn't care. Hmm. He was frank, at least. Man. Well, we know now that we did what to... But we know now that what we did to you, to full many, was wrong. Terribly wrong. No words will suffice to make amends, but I want you to know that we are deeply sorry. It's difficult to read something like that for some reason. I'm not sure how I feel. Should I forgive you? Hate you? Perhaps it's not even my place to judge. After all, I sought a place in your city. I wanted to be you once. But one thing is clear to me. All of that is in the past, and we mustn't let past wrongs stand in the way of a brighter future. And so, I will cooperate with you. Please see your friends to Mount Galg. You have my word. I'll set to work on the design at once. Wouldn't have, wouldn't do to have nothing to show the others when they had returned with help. Make no mistake, this venture is unprecedented in the history of Talos building, nay, the history of all mankind. But rest assured, this genius of Daedalus stoneworks will deliver. Good, good. I have no doubt, actually. You'll be able to do this. <laughs> Wicked white. Hmm? Is there a problem? Well, uh, you see, I've promised people to procure the stone as well as imbue magic. When I was put on the spot earlier, I thought that was all we required. But I forgot about one rather important item needed to bring Atalos to life. The soul. The heart? The heart? Well, not the soul, the heart. That's right, the heart. I'm pleased to see you have some familiarity with Talos. So, while I work on the design, I'd be much obliged if you could see to procuring the ore with which to fashion a heart. A heart suitable of bringing to life a Talos that shall embrace the very firmament. We're gonna go back again. Meeting the Thoughts. Meet the Tholes. Tristel knows people who may be able to assist in your search for ore. If you seek material for the Talos' heart, I know people who may be able to assist. They are the Tolls, a dwarven family that have long mined this land. No one knows its bounty as well as they. If you explain your situation, I'm sure they would be willing to cooperate. Indeed, it was one of them that showed me the secret tunnel to the top of the cliff. You will find the Tolls at their village to the northwest, a place called Tombra. When you arrive, seek an audience with Chief Zamot, and do not forget to greet him with a hearty lally-ho. Lally Permit me to join you, Divi. I would keep my joints limber, and mayhap I can provide some more, some manner of assistance. I'll leave the heart to the two of you then. The variety of ore doesn't matter so long as it's rich with aether. 
I'll aim to have my design complete by your return. Alright. Right there. We have a transport. Easy. Voila. These are the Lalafels. Lally ho, I'm teaching this beardling here all about the wonders of ore. If you don't understand the value of what you're digging up, well, then you're no better than a knocker. Hmm. Why is he coming with me? So this is Tomra. Seldom do we see the dwarven folk at the Crystarium, so to now be in the presence of so many... I shall enjoy not having to crane my neck for a change. Okay. <laughs> Lally ho. Lally ho. What sorry excuse for a greeting was that? Where's your heart, lad? Your stones. Hmm. Come, let's try it again. Lally ho. Lally ho. Exactly. <laughs> come on, come on, man. Give me. Mm -mm. There we go. Hmm, not bad, not bad. But there's room for improvement. Of course. Any road, now that we've observed our common cur we've observed common courtesy, who are you and what are you doing here? At the recommendation of the denizens of Amity, we have come to seek the aid of the Tall family. May we speak with Chief Zamot? Why, yes, you may. I am Zamot, and I bid you welcome to Tomra. It's the folk of Amity what sent you here. You must have quite a tale to tell. Come, let's hear it. So you see, I'm the Warrior of Light, and, and, and then three expansions later. Well, well, and here I thought those below had no fight left in them. Having said that, it's not like we know how to deal with that floating volcano and all them Sin Eaters neither. If you're serious about restoring peace to these parts though, we'll gladly lend you a hand. Good, good. However... The kind of ore you seek is precious us to us too. If I let you have it for only you to bungle up things up and squander it like no amount of ale will wash away my, ch my chagrin. First, I need to make sure you're worthy by means of a trial. I, a trial most tricksy, passed down through the line of Tol. Why not? And what is this trial? <laughs> Come with me and I'll tell you all. Hmm. Involves drinking. Let's do this. Let's do this, man. Let's down some ales. No, Flintstone style. Okay. What? Only Lalafels may enter this area. What is this? Ah. I need to know what is inside here. I need to reroll Lalafell just for this. <laughs> Listen well. As you know, we're a mining folk, and in the mining life, danger is a constant companion. So when we come of age, each of us must prove our readiness to take to the mines. This we do by undertaking a trial what tests the three traits all good miners can't do without. Discernment, diligence, and dexterity. We call it 3D Mine Runner. Now look at my helm. Mark its feature well. You'll be given a slingshot, which you must use to shoot dwarfs as wear helms, what are different. I've already made the necessary arrangements. When you're ready to take the trial, report to the observer nearby. Best of luck to you. I know there's actually a game that's like called Dwarven Mining something, where you basically mine. Yeah, is it referring to that? It's, it's actually looked pretty cool. Saw it on Steam. Lally ho! You must be the challenger the chief mentioned. I'll show you to the rooftop at once. 
As I'm sure you've been told, in 3D Mind Runner, you use a slingshot to shoot them as where, shoot them as where the wrong helm. Let's begin with a spot of practice, eh? Search for the dwarf, yep. Yeah. Whack a dwarf, basically. Man, okay. Camera is slow here. I would thank you not to shoot me. Where are they standing st Oh, that's a dwarf. Wait, no, that's not a dwarf. That's a shoe bill. Huh. its reaction, the creature may as well be made of stone. It only stares at you unflinchingly. Okay. Oh. <laughs> nice shooting. Keeping up in the actual trial, eh? Okay, so I shoot a dwarf who's wearing the wrong helm. So not one of those, basically. Aye, that's the way. Next time is the trial for true. Let me know when you're ready, eh? Ready for the trial? Right this way then. This time there'll be what there'll be them where as wear the right helm. This time there will be them as wear the right helm. You shoot them, you fail. So look carefully before you let the stone fly. Okay, so the right helm. I'm gonna catch it one go. Nope. Yes. No, yes. Wrong, I'm wearing a thorn helm, see? No, you said to shoot the right one. What? Okay, so shoot the wrong one. Alright, what the, man, this is so confusing. Okay, just the wrong one then. Just the wrong one. No? He's gonna come back here again. Well done, a fine show of discernment and dexterity. Yes. Well done, well done, the trial never lies. You've got what it takes to be a miner, somehow. Run along back to the chief now and get on with putting an end to all this strangeness of late. Thanks, guys. That was some impressive shooting, Cloud. Consider me satisfied. It delays a little bit, though. It doesn't show right away. Alright. At digging, we will go. Zamot has ore on his mind. He's got money in his mind. Did you see that Colusia is rich in sulfur? Well it is. We've been mining the stuff since ancient times. And every so often, the same self veins yield what's called earthseed, a rare ore steeped in magic. Time was, we used to refine earthseed for this and that, but the technique's been lost. The stuff's still out there to be had, though, provided you know where to look. And no place is surer than the Duragar's Tewel. Tewel. Problem is, the sites occupied by our age-old rivals, the Gogs. Greedy subs claim the place is theirs and refuse to let any other bugger near. Oh, there never was a more odious lot than them gogs. I could go on forever about those hornless horsons, but then we'd be here forever, and that won't get us nowhere. Mm -hmm. What it boils down to is this if you want the earth seeds, you've got to deal with the gogs. Reckon you're up to the challenge? We've dealt with far worse, I'm sure we can find a way to obtain what we need. That's the spirit. Now, to help you find your way, I'll have one of ours go with you. I'll do it. I'll go with them. Whoa. How can you tell them apart, even? You, Korot? I, I couldn't help overhearing. I knew the Eaters had flocked to Mount Gulg, but I didn't know why. To think the last Light Warden's hiding up there. The fate of Colusia, no, of the world, hangs in the balance. If I can be of some help, then I want to do my part. 
Your zeal is commendable, lad, but it isn't so simple. This here's Korut. Young as he is, he's one of the village's finest miners. The lad's got an uncanny sense of where to dig, and his aim with a pickaxe is as true as any dwarf's. But put him in the thick of battle, he couldn't hit the side of a minecart if he was sitting in it. If all he needed to do was dig, he'd be your dwarf, but he's liable to become a sin eater's breakfast before he can even manage a swig. <laughs> it's true, I'm hopeless in a fight, but I still want to try. Please, please let me go with you. I like the enthusiasm, I'll take him. I take care of you, you take care of the ore. As long as you're aware of the dangers. I take care of you, you take care of the ore. Dangers everywhere, man. Oh, thank you so much. I'll try my best not to be a burden. I like the attitude. If you want to take Korut, far be it from me to stop you. Keep him safe though, will you? We will most assuredly encounter Sin Eaters along the way. Though with you in your in our in though with you in our company, they will be more a spectacle than a concern. Yeah, I mean yeah. Oh. The the Dergar's Devil lies in a cave to the east. I'm sure I'm ready when you are. Excuse me. We'll head the road east. We'll head. We'll keep to the road and head east. I'm in your hands. It seems we have a fair distance to cover. Be on your guard for Sin Eaters. Sin Eaters. Right away. Speak of the devils. Divi, the one on your left is yours. See that Korot comes to no harm. Oh, well, that's not gonna be easy. We did take it. Crystal Exarch power. Amazing, you two are really strong. But I know. <laughs> it may interest you to know that Divi is a great hero in the land whence he wailed, he hails. Some would say the greatest. Oh really, you must have some stories to tell, Divi. Yeah, yeah, actually. That he does, tales to impress and inspire you in turn. By all means, have him regale you with a few once our work is done. <laughs> I can't wait. Ah, more of them. Stay behind us, Kurut. Forgiven flattery, but they're behind us too. Oh man. Kurut, dude. Yo. Divi, focus on the enemy. I will protect our charge. He just took a fire breath, like, straight up like that. Where's his HP? He's... Oh, yeah, he's being healed. Okay. Never mind. No wonder he's still alive. I don't know much about fighting, but you two make a great team. Divi is a team unto, unto himself. I merely follow his lead. Well, it looks like you've been doing this for years to me. Is that so? I shall, I shall take that as a compliment. Mm, did I say something? Did I say the wrong thing? Not at all, your words are most heartening. Indeed, I feel like a young man again. 
You talk as if you're old. How long have you two known each other anyway? Well... Ah, uh, there's even more of them. I have a feeling like this now, Crystal Exarch. This is too close for Amity, to Amity for comfort. Let's finish this quickly. Concentrate on the ones coming for Korit. I will see to the rest. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. You know, the Crystal Exarch might be us from the future. Might actually be the warrior of light of this, of this uh, world. And we're going to kind of absorb him. Since we're from the source. I, uh, anything's possible. Uh, I mean, I can just throw theories all day long like this. Let's just wait instead. Instead of throwing theories, I just, you know. Well, it's because I really want to know. They're hiding it so well. By plainly just not letting him say anything. But he, he, he. It's so annoying. But it's so much fun though. It keeps you always guessing. But yeah. You, I have no idea. I, I could still be Gratia and I could be. Completely off. However, that elegant thingy is very. It's either a scene, which is a scene, but not current a scene, you know? But elegant, of some sort. If it is his. How much farther to the cave? Not far, it's just past this rise. And we do know he's old. He said already he's like much older than what he looks, and I don't know how he's done that even. Let alone summon us to the first world, which is insane. Ah, I believe I see it. Yeah, again. It appears we are surrounded. Not anymore. I am surrounded now. Yes, give me heals, give me heals. That brought them in. It is done. Let us press on. This is way too overpowered. Right, right. No, that was very much overpowered. Ah. Hmm. Just as we're about to get there. One last push then, one last push then, shall we Divi? Yeah. I'm good with that. Let's go. We're giving power to all of them. I will shield Kora, give the eaters everything you have. Guys. Killing the sin eaters. It's full time.
given prejudice. What is that? He's got a weird face, somewhat of a machine with a monkey tail, a hawk. What is that, man? Given enmity. It appears the commotion drew this one out. Divi, time to bring all to bear. Yes, let's do this. Yay, man. No, this, no, this one looks evil. This is like a... This is a dragon. Disgusting, crazy. What's up with the crystal exarch? Don't die. If you do, I'll be next. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Sucks. Hopefully not. See, this isn't so bad. Of course, something, sometimes movements will be a bit uh, off, but it's not so bad. There we go. One hand. I like this. Ah. <coughs> We're alive! We're alive! Let's hurry inside before any more sin eaters come. Duregar's Tewil. Korit is eager to step into the relative safety of the cave. Right, please follow me. I will take you to the Duregar's Tewil, where the purest sulfur in the land may be found. Come on, come on.
in the terrain and stench or any indication we are at the towel. Ah, there. On the towel. The gawks with their ugly, unkempt beards. If they realize we're here, they'll come after us. Best to take them down first. It's just another mining faction. Be not so hasty, Corrid. The animosity between your two clans notwithstanding. I would not resort to violence unless necessary. I will use an enchantment to render you invisible. It will not fool Sin Eaters, but it will suffice to hide you from the eyes of men. While you are thus concealed, do you think you can find us the Earth Seed? Aye, I'll dig up the choicest stuff there is. Choicest. We would be much obliged. Without further ado then... He's like... <laughs> I can straight. I can see straight through me. Right, at digging we will go. Let us not be idle either. Though Korot cannot be seen, he may still be heard. I would aid him by removing some few gogs from the field. To that end... Fight. Dream powder, as you may recall. We used it for the rescue mission at Laxan Soft. We used it in Yomor too. Truly, it seems our alchemists got a little carried away with the latest batch. But if it has been useful in our endeavors, then I have no cause to complain. Now then, I shall make you invisible as well, that you might steal close to the dwarves and give them a dose of dream powder. Even should it fail to put them to sleep outright, it should render them drowsy enough to seek their beds. Hmm. Stay the word, then I will cast the enchantment. Does he not remember? Ready to begin? Very good. Should the enchantment fade before you finish tending to all the dwarves, return to me and I will cast it in you. two minutes. I don't have time to read text. Really. Two minutes. So drowsy, not safe to work when drowsy. Better get some rest. Oh, yeah. All the dwarves have taken their leave. Good work, my friend. We have done all that we can. Let us await Korut's return. I'm back. Damn. This is the purest stuff there is. Think it's enough, or shall I go dig up some more? It's bigger than you. I would dare say what will suffice for our purposes. You have our gratitude, Korut. Let us carry this back to... To... Oh yeah, his powers. Mm. Are you alright? Nope. Worry not, I shall be fine. Long as I have been away from the Crystarium, a little weakness is to be expected. I may also have I may have also ex overexerted myself in the moment. Uh, to have this rare opportunity yet be unable to enjoy it to the full. Who goes there? Ah. Uh. Uh, that, that's Glag, chief of the gogs. 
You, you're the one of the Thols. I see, I see. Word was our miners were coming back for a back drowsy, one after the next. I immediately suspected foul play. And what should I find here but Thol scum skulking about? It's a spineless act befitting your limp beards. <gasps> what? I won't stand for this insult. Our beards are soft and luscious and smell like freshly tapped ale. Cog beards are dry and crusty and smell like knockers arse. <laughs> Impudent whelp. Better a hobgoblin's nose hairs than the feeble, floppy things you thoughts have hanging from your faces. Whoa, beard off. This is a big beard off. <laughs> like oil and water, this is not like to end of its own accord. Divi, do you perchance have some dream powder left? Enough to put an end to it, we shouldn't interrupt the conversation. This is beginning to get interesting. This is actually getting interesting. Worry not, my friend. Something tells me you'll have ample opportunity later to witness the bickering. For now, however, we should be on our way. What the swinging... <laughs> ah, so tired. Forgive me, Korot, but we need to be calm as well. We need you to be calm. I'm sorry, it's just, when it comes to the gogs, I can't help but see red. You needn't apologize, my friend. You are here on our account, and we have naught but gratitude for, your, for you. Now that we have what we came for, however, it's time to take our leave. The Talos awaits its heart. 